All right, guys, so I was about to do the oil change and I uh, got everything set up on my work table and I was shooting the video uh, to show you guys the oil change with the single one-piece oil filter. And here's a quick glimpse uh, from my prior video showing the two-piece oil filter design where it has a removable cover and a replaceable cartridge insert. And this is going to be on all the later 2017, 18, and uh, future models, and there's good reason why that happened. So I have it under the front K member, as you see there, and I always use the Blitz drip pans, always on my floor, and then I have the drain pan under there. Also, get the car up to operating temperature. You don't want to do it when the oil's cold. You want to get a good drain. Uh, that just makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to move the camera back, and I'm going to un get some gloves on, and I'm going to undo the drain plug and get a spotlight in here to just to show you. So I'm laying on my foam squares, FYI. And this thing is relatively easy to get out. You just got to give it a little bit of a quarter of a turn. And it's spring loaded, so be careful it doesn't go flying. And that's it. So we're going to come back in about 30 minutes and uh, put the drain plug back in and go through the rest of the oil change for you guys. All right, guys, so while we're waiting for the oil to drain out, whenever you're working on your car, especially the Shelby, with the tight tolerance between the caliper and the rim, you have to be strong and lift the wheel off the car. Because if you just push it off and it drops, you're going to scratch and damage the finish on the calipers. FYI, just letting you know. And another tip, uh, always, when you get the wheel off the car, always rotate the tire, inspect it for any punctures, any screws, any nails, do it now that you have it off the car. Sometimes you could be working on your car and, and just catch something uh, in advance to stop you from a roadside breakdown. So I got, um, I got a 12 inch long 3 8 extension. So as you guys can see, the oil filter was completely seized onto the oil pump. Uh, the more I tried to get it off, the more it started to crush and crush and crush. And I tried every single tool and every single technique uh, that you could pretty much think imaginable to get this oil filter off. It looks like the technician must have torqued it down with an impact gun. So here's the filter uh, removed. It was a complete mess. So what I ended up doing, uh, I heated up the threaded hex stud coming off the oil pump with my heat gun. I threw my breaker bar and a hardened hex drive bit and I was able to slowly and carefully break it free because the threads on the oil filter and the stud were galled and seized up so badly that I had to bring it over to my workbench, lock it in the vise, cut it apart and uh, go through the steps of fixing this. As you guys can see here, this is the, uh, the unit off the car and it was an absolute disaster. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to wrench too hard. I didn't want to try to break anything. You have some sensors, you have the steering rack, you have a very limited amount of room to get in there with tools and aggressively get this off. But I managed to do it. Once I got this off, I was pretty much at the home stretch because I knew once I get it onto my workbench and in my vise, I was going to be able to uh, fix this and get the car back up and running in no time. So this is the stud, uh, shows some damage towards the front threads. It was completely galled and the threads were destroyed. So the aluminum of the filter and the steel of the stud were completely twisted and seized from over tightening the oil filter. So I had to re-thread the stud with a 20 millimeter die. And then after I was done with re-threading the face of the die and then also cleaning up the edges on my belt sander, I locked it into my drill press and I used my Mitchell's abrasive cords to clean up the remainder of the threads uh, on the insert and on the outside where the oil filter goes. I did of course a couple of test fits on the workbench. I cleaned everything up and uh, like I said I made it just as good as new. Now here's the completed stud with the threads perfectly cleaned up and there's also some uh, thread compound that goes into the oil pump. 
you have to reapply that and carefully torque it down the spec and uh, once I let that set up for a little bit then I went and I proceeded to reattach a brand new single piece oil filter torqued to normal spec not Hercules spec and uh, like I said the hell that I went through it, it took me hours and hours to get this thing sorted out because I didn't want to break anything and if I could come across a technician that caused this headache for me that day number of weeks ago I think I would probably hit him with my car because this was an absolute nightmare and this must be a reason why Ford changed the design because I can only imagine the warranty claims that they probably have with uh, these issues coming back to them over and over again so thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned if you guys run into a jam ever with a seized oil filter pick up the tools that I use have some patience get the filter uh, cut off as best as you can and try to remove it from the retaining stud at the center of the oil pump see you guys soon so guys just wanted to show you guys this is all of the tools and equipment that I have to remove oil filters in my toolbox some of you guys may not even have half of this stuff but I'm gonna tell you now if you have every single tool that I show here including the hammer and the screwdriver and the strap wrenches and all this other stuff and you still can't get the filter off be prepared to go through hell like I'm explaining to you in this video so just want to show you guys you guys have to have these tools in your toolbox you never know who worked on your car prior you never know what you're gonna be up against one day be prepared, figure it out, and get it done.